What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. Now it's Merry Christmas. Yeah. Now well, it's No, truly- now it's Happy New Year's. It, this is this goes up on the fourth. This one. No. Not for Patreoners. Not for Patreoners, but yeah, for the yeah. you know, for the normies. For the, yeah, for the YouTube for the YouTuber normie yeah. non paying customers. <laughs> this goes up on the fourth. For the free radio listeners so, of the world. Yeah. So we just want to say Happy New happy Year. Happy fucking New Year. Yeah. Um Hope it was dope. Hope you spent time with friends and family. Actually, and you know what? Hope your Christmas was good. Happy New Year still works for this episode for both. Yeah. Another thing about it. Okay. There Sorry. you go. No worries. Just had to work. I'm that glad out. you worked that out. I had to work and, that out. Yeah, we're in it now. Out loud. Yeah. Like I said, Happy uh, New Year, dude. What are your New Year's resolutions? Um, I should probably have one, eh? Eh? Yeah. Let's eh? think. New Year's resolution. What do I want to do next year? You know what I want to do? What do you want to do? I want to work on relaxing. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get that next year. You don't think so? <laughs> I think next year is going to be the craziest year for the both of us. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. yeah, that makes you feel good. I don't think that's, that com- makes feel I don't good. Think that's coming for a few years. I'm least. like, I'm, I'm just like, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, like yesterday, fucking this Christmas shopping shit, I was so angry and depressed. And by the end of it, I was just like, I'm like I've never I've never been like this before in my entire mm. life. Mm. I think it's just because I'm constantly fucking thinking yeah. about shit and like trying to do shit that I'm like yep. I can't relax and it just gets to you. Yep. People too. People like talk about the burnout or whatever the fuck. Yeah, it's it's I'm real. Kind of understanding what yeah. that means. It's definitely real. I would like next year. Here's here's what I think. Okay. Yeah. I think we're gonna go on tour. Um, and then. We're going to work on the next album. Mm-hmm. And then I think the second half of the year may or may not. We, what are you, what are you doing? I just squinty I'm doing the me. thing where I don't know if I can say what I want to say. <laughs> okay. I don't want to say what okay. I want to say. Yeah. Potentially um, more shows. Potentially more shows in the second half of the year. Yeah. That's the most we can say. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I mean that like in not <clears throat> like relax. I just mean like, oh, no. have faith that it's okay. Sure. Yeah. It's okay. You know. Yeah. If you miss a day, if you go shopping, whatever, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. No, definitely. I need to learn that too. Like it's, I, it's, it's. It's not the end of the world. It's gonna be fine. It's like really hard though. And just I know it's really hard, but it's like I want to start like, I want to start, I guess like balancing priorities more. Yeah. You know, priorities in this in the sense where like you you need to fucking just sit down and yeah. and chill. Yeah. With the GF, with the what you know what I'm saying? With whatever. Yeah. Yeah, with friends, fucking and, and not to say like I'm not saying like because right now my mode of relaxing is going out and like drinking and shit. Not relaxing at all. Mm-hmm. I'm saying like actual restful shit. Yeah. Yeah. Taking time to just chill. You know? Mm-hmm. I'm getting better at it, but it's like I, I don't know. I try to do that with Fort. Yeah. But Fortnite even no. I don't know if Fortnite does it. No, the the Fortnite for me, when I relax, is with like if I play with Sam and you and and Spock, and I'm not streaming. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, like let's get airplanes, like yeah, let's yeah, fuck yeah, around. Yeah. It's like that's when it's fun. Yeah, that shit actually. There was a great article in uh, I think it was Wired or something. Mm. Some guy wrote an article about Fortnite and how it's like a completely different experience because it's about like it's more about like communication mm. and hanging out than it is actually like. That's trying true. to kill other people. That's true. Like you, you think about games in the past where we just would t- no, even 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 past games, it was kind of the same thing. Call of Duty and Gears of War was like a way to hang out with my best friends. That's it, all it was. It was, and we were getting like we were competing at the same time, which was cool. But like that's what Fortnite is. It's like you you drop in a lobby and you're just fucking hanging out. Yeah, and you just play around. Let's get planes. Let's fuck around. Let's just play in this like virtual world. I still think that article and that. Or the point, I obviously haven't read the article, but I think that point holds water. I, I, I think he's more right, in, or he's right in that, I wouldn't say Call of Duty and those games were like that. Because with Fort, there are many times in Fort where I find that we're talking and bullshitting more and we have to remind ourselves we're playing a game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like all those dead pockets where we're farming materials and we're just roasting yeah, and yeah, like yeah, talking yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you don't really get those pockets in games like Call of Duty. Like, you're definitely hanging out. That's true. But, like, people ask me, like, oh, like, you used to play Counter-Strike. You should stream that. And I always joke. I'm like, no, I'm not streaming that. You know what streaming Counter-Strike sounds like? Okay, draw me Deagle. Draw me Deagle. Thanks. Buy two flashes. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. All right, flash long. And it's just like you're these... And then, you know, you might have like one second of, ah, damn, you fucked that guy up. Yeah, sick. All right, next round. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think Fortnite is definitely, I know we get a lot of shit for talking about Fort, but we're not talking about the actual technicals of Fort. I, I do think that Fort is probably one of the best games ever. Yeah, I, I do too. I think it's like actually like a paradigm shift a little bit in gaming. Completely. Because you can play it anywhere. Yeah. And this is not a fucking ad read. Yeah. It just it it is crazy to me how much fun it proves to be every time. Yeah. And and for everyone that says, Oh, it's a dead game, the game's dead, blah, blah, blah. I think they do a great job of reinventing that shit every few months. Yeah. Like Oh yeah, yeah. It keeps it super fun yeah. and exciting. Here's here's a fucking here's an example, I guess. We talked in the last episode about the Kirk. Yeah, the boy kid. the Kirk. So this like so I, I join, I'm like squatting up with randoms, right? When I play alone, I just mm. squat up with randoms. I'm not like, I'm just shitty at solos. It's just too stressful for me. So uh -huh. I'm just like, I like having a team. You know? Yeah, same. No, I'm the same way. So I, I join, like I, which me, I squat up with randoms, which means I, which means I uh, join a squad of just like random people. So it's like uh, me and three other random people that also did the same thing. So yep. none of us know each other. Usually they don't even have mics. So you just play silently with these people and you like communicate markers and stuff like that, right? So I pop into this, Lobby and this kid's like, yo, what? Do you watch Cody Co? Because my gamer tag is Cody Co sixty nine. <laughs> He's like, do you watch Cody Co? And I was like, I turned on my mic and I'm like, bitch, I am Cody Co. <laughs> <laughs> that was the douchiest response ever. <laughs> and he was like, what? No, nah, you're trolling. And I was like, no, no, it actually is me. Yeah. And he was like, come on, dude, stop trolling. And I'm like, no, it's me. <laughs> And start to get like a little. <laughs> yeah. Don't you recognize my voice? It's, it's me. me. It's dude, me. It's me. Come on. It's me. Cody Co. And he's like, dude. And I'm like, there's a video. There's a video where I play Fortnite. You can see my gamer tag. It's the same. Yeah. And he he goes, ah, whatever, dude. And then like, 45 seconds later, he comes back on. Holy shit! It is you. <laughs> <laughs> so we start playing. He's like, yo, I love your, I love your video where you did this. I love Noel. Blah blah blah. And he's talking about like Spock and all these people. And then we play a game together. We win. Yeah. It was great. And we back out and we friend request each other. And now we fucking play four. I'm, I've never, never even been close to meeting this kid in real life. Well, yeah, you play but now four. he's like a weird friend. <laughs> I have so many random people I've added just like off squads like that. Yeah. That's the other thing that you don't get from other games. Yeah. It's just like random people being like, you want to, yeah, sure. Yeah. It's like, it's, a, it's, I don't know. It's a weird. Way to like meet people. It's weird. Very so, I and I, to that point, I've been getting uh, weirdly like recognized a lot on Fortnite. Really? I just don't expect anyone to like autom like to see my name, and think like, oh, you, you know. By the way, a guy bumps into me last night after the event, and he goes, uh, "Hey, Joel, love your stuff." <laughs> and I, I was like, "Thanks, dude." What, was he was he trolling? I don't know, but that was, it was a great troll. So. <laughs> You guys can fuck with me in real life calling me Joel. That's great. You, I think he just like, Joel. I think he just like didn't realize or whatever. He's like, Joel, oh, dang it. <laughs> Flubbed it. <laughs> whatever. He's a nice guy. Joel. I didn't take it any kind of way. Cody's mate, Joel. Yeah. Cody's mate, Joel. <laughs> Cody Shadow, Joel. <laughs> That's funny. Someone had a good roast on Twitch the other day. You, uh, Noel is in Cody's shadow because he's the he's the only one short enough to fit in it. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. Damn, that's fucking good. That was solid. That's a solid roast. That was like top five. Yeah, that's pretty fucking good. Um, yeah, just I've like like I, I had some guy I was playing a squad with him dumb early in the morning. It was like eight in the morning, and I had to get <laughs> yeah, just yeah. one game in. It's the best time to play, dude. This guy jumps on, and his name's Chad Muska. And it's me and him and then... Like the skateboarder? No, well, yeah, but it's not actually Chet. <laughs> okay, that used to be my idol when I but was But I had like the same moment. 12. So we were playing with these two young kids, and we know they're young because immediately, like, as soon as we joined, like, ah, fuck you. Nah, nah. And so I go, Chad Muska? The Chad Muska? And he goes, you know it, bro. I'm like, the king of street? He's like, I'm here. And, like, we're, like, laughing. Circus shoes, baby. Yeah. 
He had the drug pocket in the tongue. Yep. Remember that? Yep. I own those shoes. And you never put weed in them. Never even came close <laughs> to it. We just used to get off on the fact that there was a you drug could, pocket. Yeah, it felt sick. so badass. Sick. Like if we if we did do this stuff, we could hide it there. Yeah. But we don't because because you don't burn. I swore that I would never take a drug. Yeah, you don't burn. And I do burn. So yeah, you don't burn. Well, actually, jury's still out. <laughs> so. Yeah, and, and we we were playing and and we were laughing and these kids were like, "Who's Chad Muska?" Oh fuck! And we off. started laughing. The guy goes, "Oh god damn it!" And I laughed too, and I'm like, "Well, we got to kill ourselves." And <laughs> then we like just ended up playing duos, and we played like a few games. I said, oh, "I got to get out of here, man." He's like, "All right, man, cool, nice playing." I'm like, "Yeah, you too." And then that's it. Yeah, and it, I don't. It's weirdly personal how Fortnite can get. And it's also like it's not like you know people are. I guess the beginning, a good comparison would be the beginning of Uber. Yeah. When they were like, you're not going to get in a random person's car. Mm -hmm. What they could kill you. Yeah. And kidnap you. Yeah. It's like, no, they're just like you. They're yeah. What do you mean? They're just trying to make some money, drive yeah. people around. Yeah. It's like Fortnite, you know, when I say, oh, yeah, I met this dude on Fortnite who was a fan, whatever, people are like, oh, that's so creepy. What are you going to like make friends with people yeah. online? We're, we're, no, man, isn't Siva from, fucking from Counter Strike? Oh, yeah, we knew each other through Counter Strike. Yeah. yeah. You guys are like best friends. Yeah, like, like lifelong friends, pretty much. It's crazy. Since 16. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that shit's just going to be way more common with Fortnite. Yeah. But then eventually we'll get into the part of Fortnite where um, you just want to join the squad and you don't want anyone to talk. Yeah. Hey, what's up, squad? All right, all right man. <laughs> yeah. Three stars. Did I tell you? Three stars. Did I, t did I talk on the podcast about that guy? Which one? That got me to. Help him do his YouTube video? I think so, yeah. Did I? Yeah, with the saxophone. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, well, I don't want to just... The thing I meant to say a few minutes ago was... So a couple dudes, like... A couple times I've been recognized on Fortnite. Uh, so I never played games, like, inebriated. And I decided to do it you know, one night recently. Okay. And I'm like, it's late. I'm thinking, this should be fine. Almost every game... Everyone recognized me. Really? And I was like, not in a state to be yeah. talking. You're like, ah, 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 yeah. yeah, I'm Noel. Ah. And I just got, my voice gets like real charred and like raspy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoking that good weed. Yeah. So I. That uh, golden light, baby. That golden light, baby. That golden light. <coughs> <coughs> so I joined this game and it's these three young kids. This shit blew my mind. The, the one kid's like, Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Other one's like, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Oh my god, dude. Please, no way. The all three of them, like, they're buddies. Yeah. And one was like a little bit older than the other two. One of them's like, you're a legend, man. So I look at the map, and one of them dropped right out of the bus right away. <laughs> okay. So if you don't play Fortnite, he just like he he did something ahead of the team. And so I thought they were calling him a legend for like just dropping out of the bus <laughs> early. So I'm just like zoned out. And then the g they just keep saying it. You're a legend, man. Holy crap, you're a legend. And I hadn't spoken the whole time. So I must have looked like an asshole. Then one of them finally goes, hey, man, do you watch that guy Cody Ko's channel? And I chuckle and I said, oh, are you guys talking to me? And they're like, dude, you're awesome, dude. <laughs> It's super wholesome. And I said, oh, man. I'm like, I'm like, I said, oh, I said, man, I didn't realize you guys were talking to me. I, I would have, I would have talked sooner. Bro, imagine, imagine being a kid playing yeah. a game and literally Chad Muska fucking signs on. Yeah. Not to say we're Chad Muska, but I'm saying no, someone that you look up to. Yeah. As like a, as a whatever. Person. Yeah. Well, whoever. A comedian, maybe. whoever. Like, that's crazy. It is that crazy. This shit happens right now. Yeah. It is super crazy. Yeah, then, Chad Muska signs on. Fucking t like Tony Hawk pops into the yeah, you're just, lobby and you're like, <gasps> wait, what? Dude, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tony? Yo, what's good? Oh, fuck. <laughs> dude, I'm so hyper. I'm so hyper right now. Oh, fuck. I left the game. <laughs> no. <laughs> Had one other guy who, oh, this is the best part. Yeah. I don't even know why I haven't, how I haven't brought this up. So, you know, the end of your. Roast fans part two, the kid I roasted who looked like the thing from Super Mario. Yeah. With the blockhead. Yeah. So I'm in a game. Ear. Yeah. Ear. <laughs> so this, this this kid goes, Holy fuck. I'm like, what's up? He's like, Noel. I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh my like so audibly nervous. <laughs> okay. 
I'm like, what's up, man? I'm like, I'm just a regular guy. Don't worry about it. And he's like, dude, no. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, I have to call my friend. I have to call my friend. I have to call my friend. Oh, my God. He, he's, oh, my God. He, like, can't. He's fumbling real tough. <laughs> So he's like, uh, my friend, I'm, call I'm calling him right now. He is at the end of your video with Cody where you roasted him. That's like my best friend. I'm like, oh, shit. So he calls him. And he gets that kid on the phone. And that that kid was, uh, you know, didn't care as much. He's like, yeah, he's a YouTuber. He gives a fuck. He's talking to me just super normal. Yeah. He's and, like kind of mad. But, but <laughs> he's yeah, like, yeah. He's like, I mean, what, this guy dissed the fuck out of yeah, me. Why, like, are why are you calling me? <laughs> I don't fucking talk to this guy. So... I didn't remember who he was, so he calls him, and he gets him on the line. I'm like, what's up, man? He's like, dude, you roasted me this and that. I'm like, hold on. Let me pull up the video. I don't remember what you look like, and this is just fucking classic. I get to his picture. I'm like, oh, you're blockheaded ass, <laughs> and I start going in. I was like, god damn, you probably put nails down with that forehead, <laughs> fucking forehead, big as shit, because I'm whatever. I'm just like, I'm just like high, like flame in his ass, and he's like, damn, dude, I was just, I just wanted to say what's up. <laughs> Can you imagine? He's like, Jesus. Yo, it's Noel Miller. Holy fuck. Hey, dude, love your video. Yeah, you blockheaded, <laughs> dumb motherfucker. So, like, I talked to him for a few seconds and he was a super nice kid. Shouts out to that dude. And, you know, so whatever, we, we're playing the game. And then one kid goes, Sorry, man, I don't know who you are. And I laugh. I say, You, you shouldn't know who I am. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not someone you should know. Yeah. And then he, look, one of them looks at my channel. He goes, Oh fuck, 150,000 subscribers? Dang, dude. Do you stream a lot? And I'm like laughing because that's the second time that's happened to me where someone like searches my streaming channel. And I, I chuckle, I go, uh <laughs> some kid's like, that's not his main channel. And I'm like, uh. And then he's like, whoa, whoa. Now you're waiting to flex that shit. No, nah, I'm waiting to pull that I, out. I, I was just like, uh, oh, this well, is so Well, guess what, brother? That's what? my that's actually my second, second channel. channel. <laughs> yeah. You just got subscriber flex. Ooh. <laughs> and then, you know, the, the other kid's like, wow, dude, like you're really this and that. And I don't know. I, I guess to me, I feel that when I join a game, it should feel that like, no, I'm just like a regular dude like you. But like what you're saying is like to some of these people that really like what we do, it's a much different thing. Yeah. And it is fucking crazy. Yeah. I mean, I was fucking fangirling a little bit like when I played that dude, Brett Phillips. Oh, yeah. Like, this motherfucker is in the like he plays major league baseball. Yeah, yeah. He just DM. He's like, "Yo, do you want, want to be my duos partner?" I heard you're good. Yeah. I'm like, me? Yeah, yeah. I know that shit's so cool, man. Yeah. When has that ever happened before? Never. Never. And then Kyle Tucker from the Astros. He just invited him. Yeah. That was that was like a, a weird flex. Yeah. He was like, he just joins. By the way, shout that out. That dude is funny as fuck, by Brett? the way. Brett? Yeah. Shout out Brett. Yeah, hilarious. Brett, that dude's laugh is it's so, so funny. fucking funny. <laughs> Yo, shout out Brett Phillips. He, so we're playing Fortnite or whatever, and just in the middle of he's like, yo, you want to squad with some boys? I'm like, yeah. He's like, all right, for sure, hold up. He's like, okay, Tuck. He's like, you, you know Kyle? I'm like, uh, no. He's like, oh, he plays for the Astros. I'm like, and then I just like glance over at my chat and see if it was like, Kyle Tucker? <laughs> <laughs> like Stroh Stros, like just won the World Series Stros. People are like, yo, yeah, and I start like freaking out. I'm like, yo, these are like major fucking athletes. Yeah. So you know, I love playing games with the people who've bullied me. Yeah. Um, exactly. But yeah, no other game. Sorry, yeah. long, long tangent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Super. More long like tangent. Fartnite though. Fartnite though. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting the whole time to say that. Yeah. <laughs> more like Fartnite. More like. Huh? More like Cuck Night. Mm -hmm. More like Fuck Night. Love getting on there with my buddies and ripping ass. Yeah. But, you know, Fortnite is, is just a game. It's just a game. Yeah, it's just a... It's a long game. Mm. This Fortnite. is funny. We have no ads this episode, but that was just a giant ad. That we for, just Fortnite? for Fortnite? Yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying pay us Fortnite, but, you know, <laughs> if there's a check in the mail in the next couple weeks, I won't be mad. Oh, you know what's funny is they were going to pay you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they were. Maybe I can talk about that now. Probably not. Probably not. Probably not, dude. Probably not. Probably not. Basically, uh, we're gonna do a little, a little sponsor video for them, but um, that was the first Fortnite video. Didn't end up happening. Could. Yeah, because of some other shit, some other videos people were doing for Fortnite. Yeah, they that created basically a... ruined the landscape for mm -hmm. YouTubers being sponsored by Fortnite. Mm -hmm. Funny, funny enough. Funnily enough. So, yep. Uh, <clears throat> I had a. 
someone's I talked about this before. It doesn't matter. Look, you know what random thought about that random thought I had the other day was drug dogs. Yeah. You had drug dogs in high school, yeah? No. No? They came through like once a quarter. I'm curious to know, honestly, if anyone comment on YouTube or Patreon, I'm curious to know how common that is. Uh is that just like a Did you have metal detectors? SoCal thing? We didn't have metal detectors. Okay. We had we uh we had sheriff on campus. And was they, it a public school? Yeah. Okay. Brought the dogs like super often, hmm. and I remember, like, I was think who got me thinking about this shit was how people would freak out about the amount of weed they had on them, but I'd la- I laugh now because the most kids ever had on them was like a dub, you know, maybe. Mm-hmm. And I'm and I was joking to myself like that's. That's effectively Advil, mm-hmm. twenty dollars worth of weed. Yeah. Like it's not, it's not a shitload of weed. Uh-huh. It's probably so funny for a cop to. It's, it's like that fucking image of that cop that's been passed around on Facebook, where he like <laughs> that shit is so good. He like got he, he busted someone with a joint and like a fucking like a mason jar with a little nug in it, it's like a dime bag of weed. Yeah, and he's just like posed up next to it. <laughs> thank you, sheriff. Yeah, thank you for your service. <laughs> <laughs> got him. I was just laughing because uh, for a sheriff to like see a kid shitting himself because he's got a dub of like garbage weed, you just probably just throw it in the trash. Like, don't do this. Yeah, again. Don't taxpayers' money paying for uh, dogs that are trained to find bombs. Yeah, find <laughs> and taking them through high schools to find dime bags yeah. worth of weed. Chadwick's blunt. Yeah, exactly. You know, or whoever's blunt. It's so that funny. shit always freaks me out at the airport. The bomb dogs. Yeah. I'm like, what if, what if someone, like, just dropped drugs in my bag or something by yeah, accident? Yeah, Like, what happens if I'm, like, mm-hmm. someone comes over mm-hmm. and they're, like, doing coke or something. Yeah. And they, like, drop some on my bag. It's lying on the floor. Or some, just, like, some weird shit like that. Or, like, just what happens if there's just random drugs in my bag? Yep. Because I've, Bro. you know, I don't mean to flex, but you know, I've been around some drugs. I've been, <laughs> I've been around some rock stars, okay? Yeah, exactly. I don't mean to flex. And I don't mean literal rock stars. I mean, like, the product. Okay. <laughs> I've been hyper a few times. That's what I'm saying. What if what happens if I walk by and you're hyper as and hell? The, and yeah, I'm super hyper, and the dogs detect it because they always pick up on that so, yeah. sort of stuff. Dogs you know, know they can smell stuff. hyper. Yeah, and so all of a sudden they get hyper. The dogs so, that's a, and they start jumping up on you, and you're like, I'm I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. I'm emo. Fuck. fuck I'm fuck, 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 I'm fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm, fine, I'm fine. Fine. Computer screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a puppy. <laughs> Oh, it's a good puppy. Oh, it's a good puppy. <laughs> Just jump around like this. Then it hard cuts. Doing to the, Fortnite dance. Yeah. <laughs> hard cuts to that fucking special K. That FBI meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. You're like, oh no. <laughs> Cuff you, put you on the ground. We got him. He's doing the fucking, he's flossing. He's flossing. He's too hyper. No, I'm not. 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 I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Dude, hey. we love Fortnite. We love Fortnite. We love Fortnite. <laughs> Dog, you know what we got to do? We got to do a short sketch. It's like the show Cops. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's just about like, it's like two cops. Like, Burr! yeah, so we got we got reports of a kid just way too fucking hyper. Yeah. Um, he's in this house up here. So we're going to we're gonna check on things and see how it goes. Like, yeah, we got to call his parents, say he's being super random. So yeah. uh, we're just going to go check it out. We're going to go check it out. Bah, bah, bah. Oh my God! Thank God you're here. He's upstairs. He hasn't. He hasn't stopped playing Fortnite since six a.m. <laughs> it's seven o'clock. He hasn't even done his homework yet. <laughs> it's sa- I know it's Saturday, but it's just. Ma'am, relax. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. We're in, you're he's in good hands. Trust me. I just been so. We, we relax. We will take care of this. It's been freaking. We will so, take care of this. My, it's okay. It's okay. Relax. I just found out my my boyfriend has schizophrenia, so I'm afraid I have it, and I just. <laughs> This is just like, it's just, ma'am, ha- please relax. We'll okay, take okay, care okay. Of this. He's we'll upstairs. I'm just like, as you're going through. <laughs> Get fucking owned. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, 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 John Wick on me. John Wick on me. John Wick on me. Oh, damn. John Wick on me. Do you hear him in there? John Wick. <laughs> Got him. John this Wick is down. This is John serious. Wick down. Got John him. Wick? Got him. That is so random. Got him. Got him. Got John him. Wick? Got him. Got him. <laughs> oh, shit. He's out Freeze. the door. Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's out the window. <laughs> you can't get me. Freeze. <laughs> come get me. Come Stand get me. Stand where you are and freeze. <laughs> Hands in the air. <laughs> Fortnite dance. Going backwards through a cornfield, <laughs> doing the fucking Fortnite dance. 
<laughs> we're just chasing him. <laughs> and the cameraman just going, <laughs> running after his oh ass. Oh my god! It's like a classic stand-up bit. I forget the dude's That's name. Good. That's Ma- really good. Making fun of the fucking cameraman on Cops. Oh yeah. How he's more fit than the actual cops. Ah, <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it's like it's like criminals always running, like looking back. He like looks back. Camera dude's passing. <laughs> no, he'll like look back and then he's like sees a fence. He jumps over a fence. He's like the camera guy's just like. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck? What is this guy made of? <laughs> Jump six yeah, feet with a yeah, camera on his shoulder. Yeah, just a big ass VHS. <laughs> There's a grip behind him, just like letting out slack <laughs> on the broadcast cables. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> just some like oh, hard good. like cinema guys that's from fucking good. like Clint Eastwood's <laughs> crew just no we got it. it's fine it's fine I got it I got it I got it I got it take that clip out of context <laughs> haters come on come on come on come on come on, come on, come on, come on. more rope more rope more rope, so more rope yeah can we fly in some more um <laughs> fly in some more uh coax Copy, copy. Dude, the monitor is running right behind him too. <laughs> just watching the screen and not watching where he's going. And the director is just parallel to it. <laughs> and then like whenever the camera jumps, they time to jump. <laughs> just a whole, that would be funny as fuck. Oh my God. Just a whole crew chasing this dude through a cornfield. He's like, what the fuck? Cops where way the cops? back there. <laughs> cops out of breath. <sighs> <sighs> We always book them on evidence, <laughs> so they they get them yeah. usually on evidence, and then <laughs> okay, well, no, the criminal runs out of breath, yeah, <laughs> and the camera guys catch up to him and just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they don't do anything, <laughs> just awkward and like, quiet. All right, we got the shot, <laughs> yeah. and they just head back. Yeah, <laughs> cutting, cutting. That was great. That was great. That was great. Nice work, man. Thank nice you. Nice work. Yeah, P- appreciate it. Good luck. <laughs> Oh, we got some good stuff there. That was great. <laughs> and they just start yeah. running the other way. <laughs> yeah. no, they just they do it in reverse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys picking up the cable. <laughs> uh, Yo, speaking of fucking movies, you know it's a fucking amazing movie. I gotta bend it like Beckham. No. Oh. The Avengers. No. Uh let me Fortnite go for- one. Ninjas discovers his inner thought. No. Um, what was that? It's a brand new movie. Oh, that sounds it's cool. It's produced by Epic Games. Is that like Ninja Works? Yeah. Ninja. What is Ninja Works? It's a playlist by like Marshmallow and other people on Spotify. It's a playlist? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Cool movie. gaming music. Movie. You were talking about The oh. Life of Pi? No. <laughs> no, A Prayer <laughs> Before Dawn. So it's based on a book. Okay. It's about an English dude who um, gets caught with... He's like, he's like addicted to... Something like heroin, almost. Okay. He gets uh, basically put in. He's, he, was, he was in Thailand. He gets put in jail, uh, Songkran or something like that. Like one of the most brutal prisons. It's a true story, now. <laughs> true story. Oh, okay. And he uh, basically he's he was a boxer. Okay. And he basically fights his way in the prison because in in those like high security Thai prisons, I believe you can compete. Uh, like on behalf of Thailand, uh, and to reduce your time, yeah. So you can become a Muay Thai fighter and represent Thailand, and and you'll knock years down. Yeah, it's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. So <laughs> the film is about him. <laughs> teaching, they're teaching you that if you become more violent, then yes. that's how you get out of yeah, prison. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so uh, and I I've, I still want to. I'm curious to know about like a lot of the background of the film, like because some of the dudes they had in that movie were. Fucking scary. Really? Like those tattoos didn't are not optional. Okay. They're the one of the like main characters, he's got it all over his fucking face. Now that could have been fake. God damn, if it was fake, that shit was good. He had like he had like the clown like line down the Ooh. center of the eyes. Damn. He looked menacing as fuck. Damn. All his front teeth <clears throat> silver. <clears throat> scary. That's sick. Yeah, hard ass look. Yeah. So it's about him. Being in this prison, what's crazy about it is there's very little English, and they don't translate any of the Thai. So, like, you're really put in the seat with him as, like, going through this prison. They only translated when Thai people spoke English. Okay. So, like, if their accent was too thick, they would translate it. Huh. But that's the only thing. So, you're really, like, you're really 
like viewing this from this guy's perspective. Yeah, he, he doesn't speak Thai. Yeah, okay. and like he got in these weird scenarios where they're all like cracking jokes on him, and like he would like do something, and the whole room is like erupting with laughter, and they're speaking in Thai, like like talking shit about him, and he's just like, uh, am I gonna get fucked up right now? Damn. So it's about him, uh, joining the Muay Thai team at that prison. And it's it's fucking crazy. Hmm. It is fucking crazy. It sounds dope. What's it called? A Prayer Before Dawn. Okay, and that's actually what the book is called too. But so there's a there's a moment in there where someone swaps drugs into like they um they're given like a t shirt. Okay, it's like a vest. Okay, and they find drugs in his vest, and he's like pleading. It's it's not mine. It's not mine. And the and the dude like the the prison guard like the the CEO is just staring at him, because it's like I don't think he understood English. He's just staring at him. So he's panicking, trying to motion, like it's not his. And then, uh, uh, I think that was the only time they like there was a translation. Where this guy next to him was like, just telling the truth. Just telling the truth. Like basically, he was saying it in Thai, like trying to fuck him <clears> over. <throat> yeah. And so, like, the, the correction officer is, like, he doesn't know who to believe. Like, do I believe this fucking guy? And, like, just that moment of having to plead, like, to someone who doesn't know what you're saying. That's crazy. And he's, like, searching for, like, he starts, like, grabbing items and switching them and, like, completely breaking line because everyone else is just, like, still not moving. Like, he could get fucking shot for doing what he was doing, like, acting like a maniac. Like, you're sitting there like, God damn. It's, it's a crazy fucking movie. That's intense. It's it's it, yeah, the whole the whole movie like I was on the edge of my seat. When did you see it? Like the other night, on Netflix or what? Uh, no, rented it. Okay, five bucks. I'm watch that on the plane tomorrow. I think. No, you should. Completely worth it. <clears throat> I got YouTube Premium for three months. For three months, out. yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying it out. out. It's kind of cool to get no ads. Yeah, and to like play shit in your pocket. Yeah, it is kind of cool. Yeah, but that's it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, just gonna fucking, I'm probably gonna end it. It was kind of cool. Uh, uh, you know, you know what we did start watching was the final table. You liking that shit? Yeah, that shit's dope. Yeah. It makes me so hungry. Uh -huh. It mm -hmm. makes me want to fucking judge one of those competitions. So you can eat everything? Yeah, just so I can taste what, dude, going to that like 18 course meal or whatever. Yeah. Just makes me want to do every place in the world like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to go to every place like that. And like, that's the caliber of the food that they cook on that show. Bro. It's, it's also, what? sorry, go ahead. No, it's weird how. The chefs, the things they know they fuck up, how all those, like, the food reviewers pick up on it. Yeah. They was like, mm, yeah, that, uh, that, like, weird, uh, what was what's that, tarragon? Yeah. yeah. You undercooked that. And they're like. <laughs> they they foreshadow, though, pretty hard. They do. Like, they only show sure. the clips of the stuff, like, things like that. Is that too much salt? Yeah. Like, like they're sprinkling the salt, and they're like, oh, I think I put too much salt in there. And then, yeah. like, fast forward to the judge, and the judge is like, it's really salty. Yeah. And you're like, all right, I see. That that fucking uh, set is it's huge, it's crazy, and crazy, bro. You think they have a live studio audience just come in just to watch people cook for an hour? I think so. That's crazy. That set is gorgeous. It's beautiful. They must have built that just for Netflix cooking shows. Of I course. bet. Yeah, and how they like rearrange it when it's like the showdown. Yeah, unreal. Beautiful. It's super cool. Yeah, it's show fucks. Check that. Check that out, y'all. Final table. Yeah. Um, switching gears here. Mm hmm. What do you got? I so I was thinking, okay, this is gonna get a little political. <clears throat> uh, no, not really. Okay, um, you know, I've just I was talking with a friend of mine, and we were talking about like you know, crack, the crack epidemic, mm -hmm. particularly in you know low income communities mm -hmm. and stuff. And I was like chuckling, and I said, "Yeah, you you know the equivalent of that uh, is." Is crypto? That's what crack is for white people. <laughs> they just can't get away. But just thinking about what we were talking about, I don't know, two episodes ago, yeah, with people wanting to count their money, yeah. Crypto is the crack for like, like white guys sitting at the computer, just destroy, destroying their lives, yeah. They're just hooked on <clears throat> fucking no, but this coin, this coin, yeah. No, 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 no. Christmas no, no. of twenty seventeen, yeah. That was the yeah. That like destroyed the crypto epidemic. The, yeah, the cr crypto epidemic. It's just destroying the middle class. Destroyed middle class bank accounts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
it's not even exclusive to white guys, just suburban dudes. Yeah. Trying to get their leg up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or just yuppies. Mm hmm. Because it was like, it's people that like, you know, live in urban cities that have like a little bit too much money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Those are the people that, are like, yeah, I'll fucking buy some crypto. I got yeah, some money laying yeah. around. Fuck it. Well, I just, you know. And I, then they get really involved. You're really like invested in it. And it's like now they're reading fucking the subreddits every morning. And it's like, yo, this one's going to pop. This one's going to pop. I just have 90,000 <laughs> wallets on their fucking computer. They got all these weird viruses yeah. and shit. It's like, yeah, but dude, this um, Cypher DX coin. Yeah. I'm telling you, dog. I was talking to my buddy the other day. Uh, about last year, he made a fuck ton of money. On crypto? Yeah. I, I don't doubt it. Because he was one of the dudes that was, like, doing it right. Mm -hmm. He kind of knew. I don't know. He was also, like, friends with people that were, like, in the in the know. And, and that was kind of the key, you know? Yeah. It's crazy. So is he out? He's out. Yeah. He's out. He made a bunch of money, and now he's out. Genius. Yeah. What's a he's bunch? He's, like, one of the smartest dudes I know. Talk seven figures? No, I think, like, probably the high six probably something like that i don't know i didn't I, he didn't tell me but like yeah. that's probably something dude like that. when all those people who are holding old crypto and were like yeah i basically have like 236 million i'm like take it out yeah take yeah. it out any of it yeah. just get it out yeah and they're like yeah but the taxes i'm like who gives up <laughs> pay Fuck. the fucking taxes bro pay them you dick yeah. you dumb dick you greedy little dick <laughs> You think the fucking V Bucks currency is gonna last that long? <laughs> no, sir. V Bucks is the new crypto. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, dude. Uh, v Bucks trading. <sighs> Yo, I heard, I heard fucking the value of V Bucks is going up. Hey, I would buy now. Hey, you know, you know how we talk about like the like going into a simulation and all that. It's gonna be Fortnite. Yeah. Epic Games is gonna mold Fortnite into. <laughs> the, that's gonna be the next step. We tell a, a nine year old, hey, dude, you can live in Fortnite. They're gonna be like. <gasps> Virtual reality. We're all picturing it like fucking flying around. We got superpowers or whatever. No, 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 we're just we're just a dude in a llama suit. Yeah, building that, building forts. Building. <laughs> <laughs> That's what VR is, dude. The second reality is sick. Show me. You ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, this, that's just the sound of the brick building. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that fucking dope? Check this shit out. Check this shit out, dude. Ramp. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm a girl. <laughs> cool, right? Cool? Yeah, but it's still your voice. Yeah, but I'm a girl, dude. Look at this. Look at this sick hair. My tits look dope. Wait, check it out. Now I'm pumpkin. <laughs> I'm a pumpkin. Look now, at this. Now I'm a tomato. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh. I can dance whenever I want. I can like, never dance. You can dan dance in the real world. No, but not this good, dude. <laughs> check these hips out. <laughs> okay, that floss is pretty sick. That's a pretty sick floss. I can play the sax now. I can hear every can juggle? woman crying as they have to go into Fortnite world with their husband. <laughs> he just does it preemptively. And then Come the, on, babe. Just for an hour. Come on. Let's do it. He's like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Everything is nice here. He's it's like, so weird in there. It's nicer. We have an airplane in there. <laughs> I don't like constantly running from the storm. It's just, it's just part of it. You have to do it. It's just all right. The, the storm just it hits your health and it, wait. How do you not understand this, dude? Money down. This is like a, gonna be the like Black Mirror <laughs> season five or yeah. whatever. It's gonna be episode two. Yep. A kid goes in VR and gets stuck in there. Or yep. Some fucking bullshit like mm -hmm. that. It's gonna be a game that vaguely resembles Fortnite. Fortnite. And I'm not saying that you gotta pay us. Royalties for that, but if a check arrives in the mail, <laughs> we're not going to be mad about it. We're not going to be upset about it at all. Mm -mm. You know, just slap a couple, uh, you know, just a couple zeros, let's say. Yeah. <laughs> so hundred like a, bucks. Or like hundred bucks. <laughs> so a hundred. If you're really nice, we're talking one fifty. Yeah. Okay. Let's treat let's us to a nice greedy. dinner. <laughs> let's not get crazy here. You living, live, living in Fortnite, dude. <laughs> oh. Fuck, I wish, dude. <laughs> So just, sick zip lines. Just a dude. Have fun with the jump pads, bro. Wait, no, he's laid out on the lazy boy just in in because we're not even call it Fortnite. We're just gonna call it uh the simulation. Mm -hmm. He's just in it. And then a woman comes home with like some other dude. And he's like, Whoa, wait, you didn't tell me. She's like, he's he's gone. <laughs> How long has he been in there? 
years. <laughs> He's just big ass smile on his face. But he he's still talking. Yeah, we like, love Fortnite. No, no. He's, Yo, there's a llama over here. Let's get this shit. Like he's just playing it like normal. <laughs> How does he eat? Oh, it's just like fucking the catheter, the razor <laughs> diaper, all of that shit. Everything we talked about, he's just strapped in. <laughs> How does he make money? Well, they have a virtual currency. John Wick on me. John Wick on me. John, John Wick, Wick on me. <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean? Is that some sort of... Bro, oh my god, I just realized... So, like, single-player Fortnite, you can complete challenges for V-Bucks. Okay. Yeah. That's fucking dark. Imagine Epic Games, like, selling V-Bucks to the casuals Yeah. at a high premium. Yeah. It's ba- it is really crypto. It's, like, it's mined, That's basically. what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. It's basically- <laughs> the, only, the only difference between crypto and V-Bucks is you can buy shit of value with V-Bucks. Yeah, true. Yeah, a like skin. You can buy skins. Yeah. yeah, so valuable. It is. <laughs> that has intrinsic value to it. It does, it does. People care about skins. Weirdly. Weirdly enough. I mean, diamonds are cool because they're shiny. That's why people care about them. That's true, yeah, same same concept. Yeah. Yeah, because it's effectively diamonds <laughs> aren't, are just whatever. Rocks. Yeah. That, I mean, Counter-Strike Go people gotten, Valve gotten deep shit because they tried to game that system. What do you mean? Epic's it doing it right. Wow, too, right? Well, people sell the currency outside of the. Or what are you talking about? You're talking about the company that. No, what what Valve did was they they built a betting system API. Right. Yeah. Okay. Kids were scamming that shit hard, dude. Yeah. Crazy, but at the same time, people were um because you could transact the skins, so like some kids were selling skins for like one to ten thousand dollars. Crazy, so crazy. I wonder, is that illegal? Well, yeah, it, it, I someone sued uh, Valve, and I think Valve settled out of court, and like okay. they kind of just, huh, just quietly changed the way they did things. But yeah, it it was I think it was technically gambling because you would pay money to potentially receive a skin. Yeah, so. I think you know Fort, you know Fort, Epic's doing it right, dude. Mm-hmm. They're killing it. They're making something like I forget what it was. It was like four hundred million bucks a month or something like that. Stupid amount of fucking money. I I feel like it's one of those things where that's epic. That's insanely epic. Yeah. Dare I say that's an epic game? Yeah. All right, let's get the fuck off of Fortnite. Well, what were you gonna say? No, I think for everyone who like wants to put their head in the sand about Fortnite, I don't think that's something you should do. Yeah. I think you should. Not play the game. I think you should understand like a little bit, like why, why is it so big? Yeah, I, I just think it's a, a good thing to know. Like it, I, writing shit off just because like you don't get it. I don't think that's that's good behavior. And you don't want to be, you know, feeling like you're you don't know what's going on when we're all strapping in. Yeah, fucking jaying up in person <laughs> with each other. Yeah, in our VR Fortnite world. Oh man, ladies, you need to know llama suits. You need to know exactly. Who your boyfriend's cheating on you with? Yeah, when when you know when your boy says he's going out to the club and he met hella, bi- he didn't do that. <laughs> he's playing Fortnite. <laughs> he met a girl on Fortnite, and that girl was uh, his best friend. <laughs> he bought a girl skin. Uh, so, hot, hot ass skin. You looking forward to the holidays? Mm, yeah, let me do. I'm trying to write a lot for the mm-hmm. show. Yeah, same down in the fucking Mm -hmm. I mean we that's the thing though about comedy is you know it's it's crazy because the show that the people see in Berkeley just the way comedy works and we will do the material so many times Mm -hmm. and like see what works by the end of it it will it won't be that different but it will be a different show Mm -hmm. yeah you know certain things won't be there certain things will be there I agree um I can't actually no you know what if you're listening on YouTube uh we just announced and if you're on Patreon, um, we're announcing next week. Uh, we're doing a little, little warm-up show. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Are they on sale, Matt? Not yet. They're not on sale. Okay. But, um, just be on the lookout for that. They're small rooms. Yeah. So you're In L.A. In L.A. In L.A. only. It's and like 55 seats. Yeah. Seats Real like small. That's really small. And uh, you're going to see all of the material. Yeah. So you will potentially, you'll, you'll be our litmus test mm-hmm. for what we're going to actually <laughs> For how lit it is. For how lit. God damn it. 
I'm so slow, man, these past few weeks. Jokes escape me. <laughs> it, like, hurts me. <laughs> the Love Island video, I, like, had no jokes. Neither did I. I felt like I was no, slow you were, on that one, you were, too. No, you were crushing all of them. Uh, okay. you, you have all the punchlines. I'm just sitting there like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's me in the cringe videos. It it depends on who is like hosting the video. No, I realize that even it's with Steamy weird. tweets, whoever hosts doesn't get because like you're always worried about like the production of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You're like the director. Yeah. In a way. It's the same thing with podcasts, man. When I used to go on other people's podcasts, I used to fly by hour. Yep. Fly by. Cause I'm like, I'm the one being interviewed, or I'm the one yep. that you know, it's like everything is like a first reaction and mm-hmm a new thought and stuff like that you're yeah. not like constantly yeah it's funny so whatever um but uh yeah so warm up shows you you'll get to see what we're going to bring to the table mm-hmm. uh, i'm pretty excited i think we got some good ideas mm-hmm. and, and i think we'll uh <laughs> no i think it's going to be it's going to be fun i think it's going to be so much for fun for sure it's going to be a lot of fun i'm it, stoked you know what i was thinking though what for lawrence what um sorry i'm bringing up the no, it's fine. I right. think I think halfway through, if we, or maybe <laughs> maybe we just come out to a song. Yeah, I'm down for that. We just turn up to one song, yeah. out the gate. Yeah, maybe. Hey, if you're in Lawrence and you want to see that, let us know. Yeah, yeah. If you're in Lawrence, let us know. Um, we're uh, we got to see, man. This is by this time the mixtape will have been out. Yeah, and we'll see who, how much people hate it. Exactly. Yeah. Wow, this was trash. Yeah. Fucking garbage. <laughs> Can't believe you made never us ever do music yeah, ever again. I think it was done at Bangers and Ass, guys. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice job, nice job. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, boy, this acai bowl is worth <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> he's been he's been fucking crop dusting this room, dude. The past ten minutes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is what I wanted. I, I said this to the thread. Netflix acquires rights to a fire festival documentary. If that not, if that wasn't a one hundred percent guarantee, that I'm pretty sure we called that. I'm pretty sure there's going to be, we said there's going to be a documentary on Netflix in like a year yeah. about this whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, that. how much time did that guy get? He got a fuckload of time. Yeah, he got like five to eight years or something like that. That's, dude. I mean, I think I talked about this before, but I read the article um, detailing like the case and like, <clears throat> like his his past and like all of his crimes and stuff like that. Man, he like took, these people's retirement money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they yeah, had like, like interviewed like in the article. Career scammer. Yeah. yeah, and the the old people were like, "Now we can't retire and we have to work." Yeah, for ten more years and yeah. we can't like enjoy the last years of our lives. And I'm like, "Yeah, he's Damn, a, yeah, he's that a is piece of shit. Dark as fuck, yeah, man. He's a piece of shit. It's dark." Yeah, and what's shitty is he he goes to jail and he gets to come out and like try to rebuild his life and these people he fucked over like they get nothing. Damn, it's yeah. crazy. So it's like eight years doesn't do it. Yeah, they got might have been more. Might have been like twelve. They should put him in a fuckload of debt. It should be like twelve years. No, no, like, he he owes he owes a ton of money. Oh, he's like debt repayment. Yeah. yeah. Well, good. Yeah. I want that. Uh, that motherfucker should work at a Starbucks and suffer and think about all the shitty oh, things yeah. he did. Exactly. Because that's that to me is is like, yeah, I don't know, whatever. It's it's not it's not murder, right? Where it's just one person and and it's a selfish thing where you're trying to get justice for yourself or whatever it is. This is. He is effect. It's like a, a shockwave, you know. Like he got a lot of people in one batch, and he's just fucked them up permanently mm-hmm. for a long time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, so not that you can't do that with murder. You could definitely do that with murder. Yeah, but I, I guess like you know. That being said, though, that documentary gonna be fire. It's gonna be fire. Dare I say it, it's gonna be fire. <laughs> it's gonna be fire. It's gonna be fire. Oh, did you see John Tron's video on the Soldier Console? Not yet. No, oh, it's I've been, great, I've been dude. Saving. It's I've been, great. I've been saving it's that one. really, really good. Yeah. He goes through. He goes through the fucking feature list like I did on the podcast, but obviously he does it way better. Yeah. And it's so funny. Some of the shit on there, like the spelling mistakes, are so good. Did he buy it? He bought it. Yeah. yeah. But he bought the Amazon version that you can get for half the price. Oh. You can get the same mm-hmm. console on Amazon yeah. for half the price. This dude is just buying them off Amazon and reselling them for double the price. So bad. It's hilarious. You see and he just came out with two more. The Fuse? Yeah. The, so I, I read about the Fuse. The Fuse is kind of interesting. It's like an Android box, basically. I didn't know this. Gaming consoles were banned in China for up until 2014, from like 2002 to 2014. What? Because their kids weren't doing their homework or something. So okay. China was just like, no more video games. Crazy. 
That's nuts. So this article is pointing out that the Fuse console is actually pretty important because it speaks to a generation of kids who have never had video games. And he's just reselling it to American kids who have had video games. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the article, I think, was more talking about, like, why the Fuse box, like, even exists. Okay. He's like, you know, people. we look at it like, well, it's basically an Xbox or a PS4. Why wouldn't you buy that? And, the you know, the point of the article is like, well, in China, uh, this is a cool thing to, like, have a box that's as fast as one of those, but you can mod it, you know? Yeah. You can whatever bootleg shit to it or, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Um, so was that the first... Was that the first video game console that was legal in China? No, or, no, no. Or, no, it wasn't. They, they became legal like three years ago. Okay. Um, so now you can buy Xboxes and... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's just a... It's, it's crazy because I was thinking, why the fuck would you m make a gaming console at this point? There's no reason. Yeah. Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox. Xbox, that brand recognition and the games and just everything, it's way too much fucking firepower to yeah. even get in front of. So, you know, whatever, Fuse, Soldier Console, copy one. Dare I say it looks kind of dope. <laughs> so John Chan reviewed it. So you're saying... Kind of dope. Kind of fire. Kind of fucking fire. Kind of fucking fire. Um, yeah, he tweeted, Soldier Boy tweeted something like, this is in the video, but he tweeted something like, uh, th I, I just, like broke down in tears after I saw the name of the first person who bought my console. <laughs> like the first order came through. He's like, thank you so much. Like I'm, you know, I'm working hard trying to create this brand and I'm just a kid with a dream. It's like a dream to what? Resell? I don't even think. Consoles that you're not making? I don't even think he is running his Twitter at this point. <laughs> at least not for that. Uh, at least not for that. Yo, a hey, shout out to, um, Lauren, Maggie, not going to say your last name. Y'all <laughs> y'all asked for someone to listen to the impulsive, listen to impulsive. Yeah. And I did. The only way I can describe it is your man's refusing to clean his balls after working out and wanting a blowjob. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty apt description, honestly. No. Yeah. The, I don't want to listen. Just, it, no. No. Uh, <laughs> I watched the one, I watched a little bit of the one with Riley Reed. It was pretty awkward. Yeah. As I would imagine awkward. it would be. I gotta give him credit though. Fucking Paul. He's going hard on the podcast on the podcast. Yeah. Like three episodes a week, a different guest every single time. Bro. I don't know, dude. That's gonna How long can you do that for? How many fucking know. guests can you have? That's crazy. I don't know. I mean, you know, we've done it so long without guests. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, we've had a couple. Yeah. Yeah. We have a certain type for our guests. Yeah. <laughs> Long hair. <laughs> and oh, music. Post is actually not allowed to come back on the podcast until he, <laughs> until he grows presses his hair, hair out. back yeah. out. Yeah. He's not allowed. Mm -hmm. um, There's a sign on the door. Yeah. No post. Yeah. So and, and if you have long hair, you can be interviewed. Mm -hmm. But it's got to be like long, scraggly, you know? Yeah. Or dreads. Okay, yeah. But it can't be white dude dreads. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Got to be real dreads. Yeah. Fair enough. So that's, Fair enough, dude. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough. How do you think that video is going to do? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see, bro. Should we, we should talk about that. We'll see. What? Talk about what? The video? Yeah. Yeah, we can talk about it more. The. So we've known about that video for a while. I've known of her for like longer than I should. Okay. It wasn't that video that I first came across. And the first one I saw of her, I was like, we should cringe to this. But then I said, no. And I, it was just one of those things where I didn't, because I know you, and I'm like, if I put this on your radar, you're going to want to do it. Uh -huh. and so I just like quietly was like, I'm going to do us a favor. Yeah. I'm gonna do us a solid. Yeah. She never came up. And then you found her. And I'm like, all right, this girl seems nuts. Yeah. And then, and then, and I then, mean, th this is the thing, man. It, it, it it gets to a certain point where it's like, okay, if these two people are just two people being weird online. Yeah. Then that's fine. They mm -hmm. can do that, right? Mm -hmm. As soon as it becomes, oh, I'm the best artist in the world. Yes. And as soon as it becomes super vain and as soon as they're charging people $22 a month yeah. for their program where they're yep. just being vain together yep. and talking about clean eating and all this stuff, yep. which 
is all bullshit, probably. Mm-hmm. No, it's all horse shit. Here's how you eat vegan. You, you just buy a vegan cookbook. There's so many free materials. You have to pay probably. 22 bucks a month for that shit? Yep. It's almost like they're they're life coaches. That's what they're trying to be, right? They're trying to be life coaches. Without saying it? Yeah, you can't be a 22-year-old life coach. Yeah. I'm sorry, you can't. You haven't lived. Yep. yep. How are you going to tell people other people how to live their life? Well, you can be a 22-year-old life coach if you come <clears throat> from some real life shit, but you can't be a 22-year-old life coach if all your... Like, life coaching is not like, eat apples and use my photo filters when posting on Instagram. What yeah. Are, what are you coaching? Exactly. That's exactly. the fun. That's the funny part to me, like her photo editing tutorials. Yeah, she offers like filters for, like, post editing. I don't even know, like, what like what they actually are. Yeah. I don't know if like they're actual like. Create Tyler did the same thing. Yeah, who's selling presets? Yeah, which is hilarious because <clears throat> so funny. You can get a ton of presets for free by people who like that's their profession. <laughs> yeah, which Create Tyler probably just took. Yeah. And rebranded as his. But it's crazy that anyone looks at what they offer and goes, ooh, yeah, this is worth paying for. Yeah. Probably what people say about our podcast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But no, but it, like, I just, I don't know, dude, like, that, like, that, yeah, that life coach bullshit, like, how to eat, how to live, it, it all preys on there's something wrong with you. I think that's fucking shitty. I mean, Okay, yeah, but it, you could say, like, don't make fun of two people who are clearly there's something wrong with them, right? True, yeah. It's as soon as they start fucking over other people. Yeah. The Gray Tyler thing. Yeah. Right? The the vape hot box thing, that was more just like us just clowning these yeah, kids. Yeah, that was us But it's also, Maddie. like, glorifying vaping a little bit, and yeah. it's weird. And, but, and then as soon as these people are, like... That's different, though, because, you know, like, M- M- with Maddie, he's a self-aware kid. He, like, he knows who he is. Yeah. And, like, he, you know, he... Again, another Fortnite friend. Yeah. We play Fortnite with that kid all the time now. Yeah. So it's pretty funny. You know, whatever. But yeah, that with them, I held off because I don't know why. I think it was that. I think I felt like, no, we shouldn't and I said that. I was like, oh, we shouldn't do it. Like they're just like they're just weird. We should leave them alone. And then you were like, No, dude, we, we should and we shelved it. We, yeah. We didn't watch it and we yeah, just yeah. left it alone. Yeah. And then she <clears throat> she took the video down. She took all of her videos down. Uh huh. To basically launch this online program. Where she put those videos, like, I think... Behind a paywall. Yeah. So you had now to pay to watch these videos. Yeah. Imagine that shit. Yeah. Imagine fucking paying the first payment in that monthly... To watch that. To watch to watch that. Two people fucking on the a microphone. The audio of two yeah. people fucking. And then she put it back public. And <laughs> that morning when you, when you said, yo, she put that video back up. <laughs> Because it popped up on my fucking feed. That to me was like some universe. That was the universe signaling to me. Yeah. That was me manifesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's me manifesting. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough. I love this whole concept of uh, think about what you want to become and manifest it. That's why you're so good at manifesting things. <sighs> That's Well, the thing with me is that I'm... I only think in feelings. Yeah. And I only hear in colors. Got it. You know, manifestation starts with your heart. You have to want to believe. You have to want it so badly. Mm -hmm. It starts here. Mm -hmm. And once you start manifesting and meditating on it and just believing that you can become you then have the tools to make it reality. Yes. And you do that by eating vegan. Yeah. These self-help courses and shit, they're just like very long explanations for saying, if you want something, go for it. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Wow. Blasted through Wow. Bars. 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 I don't. I just. I just feel like they take like a very simple concept of like if you want to become a comedian, you should go try it, and like they make that into a six-hour course somehow. No, but that's the thing that their message is the opposite. Like a lot of her like Instagram posts and stuff like that are about just being, just just be. You don't have to worry about it. And I know we talked about was it this episode that we were talking about New Year's resolutions? Yeah. Okay. So I talk about relaxing more and whatever, and it's okay and all this stuff. 
that's essentially their message, but it's all the time. Yep. Their thing that's is true. just live all the time, just whatever. It's like, no. Yeah. You still got to do shit. Yeah. That's not the way life works. You Thank still you. have to do things and you have to be productive and you have to fucking, you can't just bum around all the time. You can't. No. That's not the key to happiness. It's no. not. Like, it's proven. No. no. Um, like I said, they can do that because they just sit around um, eating plants and making videos about eating plants and yeah. they somehow get 400 people paying 22 bucks a month. Yeah. So they they can do that. They can yeah. sit there and tell people to just be. Yeah. By the way, there's not not hating on vegans. Let's just be clear. Before oh, yeah. you, oh, yeah. before before you fucking you blow even... up the comments, not hating on vegans it's, at all. It's not a comment on vegans. Vegan. Nothing to do with eating vegan. Yeah. It's uh, it's more that, um, I don't know, she's got like that like fake elitist. Man, I, I've seen this shit. I've seen this shit. Because I, I used to be real deep into like Eastern mysticism and shit like that. I read all kinds of fucking books by swamis and I, I was into that. I used to meditate three fucking times a day. You know, all about like raising astral consciousness and that you have like different bodies and whatever. And so I see how I've seen how people just take it and go so far because I was, I've been there. I've been that wild and it's crazy in that state of mind how I, how much, how little I ended up doing and how unhappy I became because I had realized I was like buying into this philosophy where I'm like, oh, wait, like, I just fucking starve myself and sit and think all day. Yeah, but I'm not I'm not saying that's everyone. What okay. I'm saying is like I didn't apply it in a practical way. Oh, okay, okay. So some people take these like like I like certain philosophies, I think they borrow a lot from like Hinduism yeah. and all this stuff. And they they run so far because it's so different from what they've seen before. Uh-huh. And they turn it into this lifestyle where it's like, no, you should be Zen all the time and in order to achieve that you just do nothing you don't be happy you don't be sad just be in the moment all the time like I, there are people i feel like that are happy that do that but they're 70 year old monks who have been who have learned how to yeah. control their consciousness for yeah. their entire lives yeah they're not 22 year old <laughs> people living in la no in who a, are just high no, on no, them, no. who are just high yeah. on themselves i'm not and I'm not saying I'm not like I'm not saying it you can't be happy from that. I'm definitely echoing your point though that you 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 can lead yourself to unhappiness by not by by following some of that uh-huh. stuff too closely. Uh-huh. And that ended up happening for me. Huh. You know, like some people you know whatever, they they don't want to be material and all that. And that's great. I I just I think it's a dangerous thing to fucking preach to young people. Mm-hmm. You know, and and it's it's annoying to me when I, because none of what she says, in my opinion, she just seems like a, a fucking bad distilled version of like what other people who have actually lived that life, like she's read like some autobiography by some Swami and then was like, no, yeah, I'm going to just, I'm going to just like, like regurgitate this, but in a very garbage way. But I also don't think that's the thing. I don't think that they do. I don't think that they are like read on this subject. I think they're just like, they think they're creating these ideas. That's possible, yeah. And that's why they're like, you're the best artist in the world. That's true, yeah. Oh, my God, you're crazy. You came up with the concept of rel- of fucking living and- <laughs> yeah, and, and just being. And being. True, yeah. Uh, totally possible. Like this I don't is, know, man. Uh, I'm not going to read one of her Instagram captions. It's whatever. Whatever. It's not Anyways, to like- Yeah, whatever. That, that's just basically why we did the video. Yeah, it's just- Plus that video is just so bad. <laughs> so that's that's the main, that's the main reason. Don't go bully her, man. Yeah. Don't don't go fuck with her. I know some of you guys like to do that. Yeah. Don't do that shit, bro. <clears throat> All right. Is I gotta go a, finish editing this cringe. Yeah. Is this a is this a Scrooge McDuck episode? No, I had no. fun. Yeah. Yeah, I had a good time. <laughs> I don't want to end it too bitter. Um, Fucking girl. Let's talk about Fortnite again. Yeah, I mean, we're, no, we can uh, we can close it on this. Look, it's the new year. Tour's coming up. We're nervous. We're excited. It's going to be fun. Yeah. And, um, you know, we, we, uh, we've done a lot this year, I think. Mm-hmm. Just between the podcast. It was a good year. Yeah. We can reflect a little bit on the year now because it's the 4th of January if you're listening to this for on free. YouTube. And, uh, it is, it's so the year now has begun. And I think it was overall 2018. Fucking great year. 
Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Great year. Yeah. I think I think Brian said that he's going to edit together like a reel of all the best bits from the podcast in 2018. So that should be fun. Um, I might but, cry but watching on, that. I know on Patreon, we we asked in a bonus episode or something what your favorite bit was. And I jokingly was like, blow up the comments. Let us know what your favorite bit was. And people actually did. Yeah, which is And great. it was like, you know, 150 comments or something like that. All different fucking shit yep. that we had shit said I on the podcast. Remember. Yeah, shit I didn't even remember. So that was really cool. I, re- I remembered... Uh, the kissing a flashlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make yeah. it practicing on your flashlight. Yeah. So that'll be fun. It was fucking great year. Thank you guys for sticking with us. We really no, appreciate it. Honestly. We can't wait to see you on the road. Um if you want to get merch, tmgpod.com. Yeah. No, big 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 fucking thank you to everyone uh this year. Uh, you've given us a fucking huge platform. Mm-hmm. Um we don't plan on buying Gucci flip-flops and tapping out early. Um we have uh pretty i think i would say we're definitely 2019 we're gonna put our biggest effort i think in music we've yeah done yet or i was thinking or we're gonna give it all up and just play fortnite all the time yeah we're just gonna go fortnite strip fortnite streamers because that's really what it's i'm not i'm not even gonna stream i'm just gonna just play Fortnite because i'm just gonna live in the moment and yeah. just kind of like just be be yeah and just be and it's a be, good idea press the pause button once in a while you and know just, just be and play fortnite for hours and for hours and 12 hours 12 months straight 12 months straight yeah so. locked in no, I just, uh, just I, I really want to say thanks. Thank you, guys. Um, we we love to, you. Yeah, we don't have to be engineers anymore. Yeah. Until 2020. Yeah. When <laughs> inevitably, we have to relearn Swift again. Can't wait for that. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Here's yeah. to a great year, all right? Yeah, cheers. We love you. This is welcome. Uh, this, is bye, this is Bye from the Meat Show. <laughs> Peace. Peace.